What first attracted me to the Honors College was uh, the view book, actually. Um, all of a sudden, I got this red, big red view book, came in the mail from Pennsylvania, which was weird because I'm actually from California, the state. And um, it was just different than any other piece of mail that I got. And uh, I went to the Summer Honors Program, and then it was kind of history. I got the view book. And because the view book is in large part put together by students, and I could just tell their passion and how much they love the place. I was really attracted to the idea of coming here and seeing what it was all about. I got here, and it felt like home. I said, hey, here's all the people that I've been missing for the last four years. Why was high school like this? I read about it in the hyper-intelligent, blah, 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 late blooming red book that was wonderful. And cool Colleges by Donald Asher. That's it. And I, it was the only one that really stood out to me. And I came here. This was the only college I applied to just because I loved it so much. And it's really been a great experience. I read in the view book about the community of scholars. It really attracted me that there could be a place where I would be invited to test all of my opinions and test other people's opinions and sort of work through things with the core questions to try and figure things out about the way the world works. I've really liked it. It's it, it pretty much is what they, they call it. They call it a community of scholars and it's a bunch of people, you know, people from all over, different backgrounds, but the thing that pretty much brings us together is that we all, we all enjoy learning. We all, you know, want to be here, want to be learning the stuff that we're learning. But it's also a lot of fun. I think it's a better way, a more, a more engaging way to do your general education requirements because you actually, you know, are able to discuss things. Whereas, you know, you're not in, you're not in like a hundred person lecture hall or something for English 101. You know, you're in a 15, 20 person core class. Core is. Core is what you make of it. It depends on the professor that you take. You can take some professors who are generally considered to be a little bit easier, but you can you can specialize. If you like history, you can take the history unit. If you like philosophy, you can take the philosophy unit. And in this case, in this case, there are two different English units you can take. So there, there's variety. It's what it. So core can be what you want it to be. Core is intense. Um, it's not a joke. It's it's hard work. But if you're here, chances are you like hard work and you want a challenge. It's a worthwhile thing. The teachers will keep you on your toes. You will constantly be reading and writing. But you'll learn a lot and you'll become a better writer and thinker because of it. It makes you a better writer. You have to, you can't get by in honors corps without becoming a better writer using good grammar, correct grammar. Uh, and it also forces you to learn how to defend a thesis because you have to write a thesis paper at the end of each unit. It makes you learn how to defend your arguments and not just have an argument that cannot stand on its own. Core is special. It's, it bonds you together with all the other students. Um, and you really feel like you've accomplished something after you're done with core. You know that you've learned something and you really do learn how to think about things differently. With the small class sizes of CORE, you can really get to know your professors very well. It really is a community of people who are interested in doing well and helping you do well um, academically and socially and in basically all areas of your life. I love Whitmire. I would not trade the rooms here for any rooms anywhere else whatsoever. You know, some people say that, you know, they're better, you know, all the dorms everywhere else, but the community, it's nice, you can just walk down the hall and say hi to pretty much everybody. There's no end to people walking down the hallway saying hi, um, hi Jane. Hi. <laughs> Point in case. Um, so just everyone's really friendly, really helpful. If you need help in one of your classes, you can find someone with that major. Who will, who will help you out? So it's really, 
it's a good environment to learn, but also to succeed in, in anything that you're doing. One great thing about the Honors College is that the upperclassmen aren't all high and mighty. They really do care about the younger people and the, young, the youngsters, the little ones. <laughs> but um, they, they become some of my best friends, the upperclassmen, and in turn I become some really great, I have some really great freshman friends. It's so amazing that even sometimes non AC people will come Allison sitting to just here. hang out with us. I think Caitlin has that whole couch. I might take the it's, other Unless you it's want It's a fun it. time. And it's also good to be able to do homework with you know your fellow core mates. I love the Great Hall. The couches are really comfortable. Um, you can watch movies on a big screen. There can be tons yeah. of people in here. And you have the strangest conversations at 3 in the morning. Don't lock yourself in your room and hide out. <laughs> Make friends. It's worthwhile. Even though you might think, I have to be in my room, I have to study all the time, you actually do better in your classes if you're giving yourself that break to have social time, uh, to have a social life, not to lock yourself in your room with your homework all the time, but, you know, enjoy life. Life isn't all, all about schoolwork, so enjoy it. A lot of people say that we're just kind of secluded within ourselves and we're, but you really do make great friends, and it's a great bonding experience. It's perfect for somebody that feels like they're going to be lost in college shuffle. It's just, it's wonderful. The Honors College has great opportunities for study abroad, and I hope to go to China next, next semester. I've been studying uh, Mandarin for three semesters now, and it's just phenomenal the opportunities that I have because I go there. I definitely plan on using the enhancement funds. I'd like to take classes overseas. I'd like to spend a semester abroad. You know, maybe you know, go on internships. And from what I hear, and from what I I know, what you know, what other people have told me about book will pay for you to do that stuff, which is very very nice. And we have the nicest dorm. That's a plus. Well, not anymore. But we have a cool dorm with artwork and wallpaper. It's wonderful. And carpet. And busts of people. <laughs> <laughs> and just plain busts. <laughs> Whitmire rocks. Come join the nerd convention. <laughs> it's not the right place for everyone, but it was definitely the right place for me.